Hello everyone, welcome to another quick tutorial with EC QuickBooks Training. Today I'm going to cover or answer a question from one of our viewers. The question is, how do you record PayPal fees from QuickBooks Online? As we know, PayPal fees are an actual deduct from the sales. So for example, if we have $100 of sales and the fee to PayPal is 10, what we only receive in the bank account is 90. So that's what we're going to go over today. Now I use sales receipts to record all my sales, refunds, and PayPal fees at the same time. And you could do this on a monthly basis, on a weekly basis, or daily basis. You just gather all your totals and you make one single sales receipt. As you can see here, I record them on a monthly basis. I use one receipt for the whole month. So let me show you. Let's click on July. And this is the sales receipt. I have one customer, just PayPal customer. I don't have any details in here because all the details are in PayPal. They have great reports to gather all the details. So I have an item, a product service item called sales of product, discount and refunds, and PayPal fees. Now I have the totals here. As you can see the sale for product, I have the total sales. Refunds, I have it as a negative because it's an actual deduct to my total sales. And PayPal fees, I get the total from PayPal. And I usually get the totals from the monthly sales report. Um, you can get from a transaction detailed report or your monthly financial summary report. That's where you can get all this information. So I put as a negative because it's a de deduct to the total amount here. And this is what goes into the bank. And I make sure it's deposited into the bank my payment method is PayPal. I put it in the correct bank and that is what I get into the bank. And this is how you record PayPal fees. Now I will do a more detailed um, tutorial on PayPal. 